How's it going guys? Rob here. Welcome to my very first Slashback Saturday challenge created by the horror man, Joe himself. Uh, really cool guy. He knows a lot about horror movies and uh, I thought I'd participate in the challenges. Um, this Saturday is Medical Slashers and the one that I picked is probably a movie that not anyone else is going to pick because they probably wouldn't consider it a slasher even though it has a lot of slasher elements and it's also considered to be a sci-fi action horror movie so there's three genres within this according to IMDB horror sci-fi and action but like I said there are a lot of um, slasher elements I mean you're talking about you know he kills people with a crowbar and stabs people through the chest and and stuff like that um, and the movie is Hollow Man that came out in 2000 uh, with Elizabeth Shue and Kevin Bacon. I love this movie. I mean, call it a guilty pleasure, I don't know. I just, I really like it. Uh, kind of like The Invisible Man, but modernized. Uh, you got Josh Brolin in there. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, well, Jerry Goldsmith did the music. It's got great music. Um, Mary Randall. Um, you got Kim Dickens in there. She's been in a lot of movies. But, um... Yeah, just this movie, this was actually one of the first DVDs that I ever saw. Like when I made my, um, you know, when I transferred from VHS to DVD, um, this was actually one of the first ones that I ever saw. And I remember being blown away like, oh my God, DVD. Like, oh my God, that's, that's awesome. You don't have to, you don't have to fast forward? Oh my God, you mean chapters? What are they? Oh my God! Look at you can pick what scene you want and just click. Oh my God! This is great. <laughs> Technology is great. But Hollow Man, um, basically about a bunch of scientists who are trying to. They're basically trying to make people invisible or make things invisible. They first start with animals, and the tests. You know they become successful so uh, Sebastian who's played by Kevin Bacon who's ahead of the program actually um, is gonna be the first human trial and it turns out to be successful but the problem is is that they can't figure out a way to bring him back so he turns invisible and they can't bring him back to, to, to be normal and so as they're trying to find ways to do it like the days go by and he starts to get crazy um, you know, he feels like he has a curse on him, but at the same time, he feels like he's, he's powerful because he can do things that no one else can. He can basically, he, you know, he can walk into a bank and rob it without anyone even knowing. There's a part in here where he goes to this chick's apartment and she's like getting naked and stuff. And he like walks in the room and he just has his way with her. She doesn't even know what's happening. Like, all of a sudden, she's like, what? What? Oh, my God. And, like, he's just, yeah, he's he's pretty much raping her in a way. Um, you know, the feeling of being invisible. I mean, what, what would you do? Like, how would that feel if you were invisible and, like, you could just, you could do whatever you want and no one would even see you? I mean, that's just, that, in a way, is, like, too much power. Like, honestly. But he starts to go crazy. Um... And his, you know, the other scientists are trying to figure out a way to stop him because he, he just, you know, he goes mad and he starts killing people, uh, especially like the, the, the scientists that he works with. Uh, Josh Brolin um, and Elizabeth Shue are pretty much a couple in this. Uh, Elizabeth Shue is my, she's my crush. She's always, she's always been my crush. Um, Ventures of Babysitting, The Karate Kid. Um, she, yeah. Um, she's just always been, <laughs> man, the karate kid. I don't know what she looked better in. Cocktail. Cocktail. Loved her in that movie. But anyway, yeah, so Kevin Bacon, um, he was great in this, um, you know, playing Sebastian and the Invisible Man, basically. Uh, yeah, he, he's a, I think Kevin Bacon is a great villain. Uh, you notice it a lot in The River Wild, which is a great thriller. Um, 
that's one if you have not seen. Um, I definitely recommend it with Meryl Streep, The River Wild. Uh, but he's not, you know, he doesn't really, he's not a villain to begin with. It just, he just goes crazy. Um, but I like that. There's a picture of, you know, when he's invisible, but he's got like water on him and stuff. So you can see a silhouette of him and he's carrying that huge uh, crowbar thing that he uses. Um, but they spoof this movie. I believe it's scary. I don't know what scary movie it was. It was either one or two. I can't remember which one they spoof it. But yeah, um, it's still considered a horror flick. It's because there, there's you know there's blood and there's there's stabbings and killings in this movie, um, so it's still considered that. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of action. There's some sci-fi elements, and it is you know pretty much a slasher in that way. Because uh, to be a slasher, you don't have to actually have a knife to slash people. You can have an axe. You can have anything sharp. You can have a stick. And stab someone with a stick, a dull stick, and call it a slasher. But anyway, um, this would be my pick for the medical uh, slasher theme, Hollow Man. Um, I know there's a Hollow Man 2. I've never seen it, um, and I'm not sure if that, I don't know if that just like came to straight to DVD or what. Um, but uh, yeah. You know, another one that would actually probably... I don't know if it'd be considered... Well, yeah, it's got some horror elements. Would be... Kevin Bacon was also in Flatliners. The original Flatliners. Um, I don't know if... Yeah, that wouldn't really be... I don't think that'd be a slasher, really. Um, but anyway. Um, Hollow Man is definitely one of my favorite um, medical slashers i mean there's other ones out there that i love you know the dentist dr giggles uh, i like anatomy uh there, there's a lot but i wanted to pick this one so anyway i uh, hope you enjoyed this video and um yeah i just want to thank horror man uh joe for creating this this is just really cool a lot of cool ideas um and yeah i think i'm just i'm gonna have fun doing this so um, tell me what you think in the comments and uh, stay tuned for more videos. This is Rob from Movie Review Time signing off and I'll see you guys next time.